Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. I have four wines in front of me, Common Thread, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. First three are from the uh, winery in Upper Galilee in Israel and an Aussie one to finish. But let's dig into uh, the uh, the Israeli ones. Uh, the first one, not too much Cabernet Sauvignon there. So this is, uh, this, the, the winery is the, called the Lueria uh, Winery. Um, and Saf Sufa in the foothills of Mount Meron. Um, I think they're all 2011 vintage. This is their Rosso and eclectic blend. Uh, 50 Sangiovese, 20 Barbera, 20 Syrah and, wait for it, wait for it, 10 Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, so, um, the rest are more Cabernet in, in than this one, but I thought I'd start with this one. Let's give it a whirl. Now there's a sweet dustiness here. Um, it feels like there's um, uh, the fruit's gone onto that ever so slightly jammy, cooked plums, uh, cooked red berries, uh, maybe a little bit of... Um, of cranberry in there, uh, th th there's something uh, and red currant, um, uh, and it feels like it's come from a warm place. But then there's this uh, earthiness in there as well that um, uh, it, it, that, that speaks of. Um, yeah, it speaks of a place. I funny, I don't notice too much of an Italian uh, accent to it, despite the um, uh, the Sangiovese and Barbera in there. But let's taste it and see whether there's more of one when I, when I try it. Similar type of flavours. Uh, I get that that juicy, rounded, uh, very rare, very ripe plum, and um, but that strawberry ooze. If you get a, you get fresh, fresh, very ripe strawberries, put them in a pan with a little bit of sugar, and after not too not too long at all, less than a minute, you start getting this uh, juice oozing out, and it feels like it feels like that. So um, sweet strawberry ooze. If I have a concern about it, uh, th 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 there's also this uh, slightly salty, savoury character, which I, which I quite like. But my concern about it, there's a, a, a metallic hardness, which um, slightly takes away from the pleasure. I, I still like it, and uh, I, I'd be interested to see what uh, what happens with it a little bit more time open. Um, but uh, for the moment, it feels like it feels like work in progress. Yeah, it feels like it's uncurling and. Uh, I'll, I, will, I will report back on that because um, uh, tasting it a second time, I preferred it. So uh, hmm, maybe just coming out of its shell. Let's try the um, second one from them. Uh, so this is um, again 2011, and it's called Terrace uh, blend here. 70 Cabernet Sauvignon, 30% Cabernet Franc. Let's give this one a whirl. It's quite light in colour, and um, I have to say, as I swirl it, there's not. A huge amount of aroma comes out. Um, it's not as, uh, it doesn't feel like it's quite as um, ripe and plummy as the previous one. Uh, there is a little bit of that plum, maybe some uh, some red berry in there. As, um, more than, the, yeah, more red red fruit than, than, than dark fruit. Uh, but it just doesn't feel quite as uh, gutsy as the previous one. It may be, it's on the elegant side. Maybe I'll see when I taste it. Well, flavour-wise, I'm getting this plummy character, licorice. Licorice, for me, speaks of um, things grown in a hot climate. I'm not sure what the alcohol is in. It, 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 well, it says 13.5%, so it's not, it's not especially high. But it does feel, um, there's the, yeah, there's this dusty warmth about it. Um, again, there's this slight earthy metallic uh, note behind it all. Uh, that um, So the flavours are okay, but then that, that, start, that side of it I'm not so keen on. Yeah, okay rather than great. Um, let's see whether we can um, eclipse those two with the final one, which is the 2011 Cabernet Sauvignon, 100%. Uh, special selection of vineyards, blah, 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 blah. French oak, and uh, let's give it a whirl. Well, there's a toastiness uh, from oak here. It's not it's not over the top uh, in, in terms of its toastiness. Again, I look at the colour of it, and it feel, I think it, it's a wine that they've not gone overboard with in terms of um, trying to extract as much colour and flavour as possible. Um, maybe it's um, it, it feels the youngest of these three. Um, so, uh, and with that oak imprint there, it, it, again, it feels like a wine that will uh, definitely need to come out of its shell. shell. The other thing is, um, I can't remember whether I smelt the metallic edge or the earthiness on the previous two, uh, but uh, I don't get as much of that character here. It feels to be uh, more pure, uh, more fruit uh, flavours coming through, uh, but um, quite dumb at the moment. And that's a, a, quite a big step up for me. Um, it's got the, uh, I've talked about the licorice on the previous one, it's, it's got that, uh, that imprint of Cabernet from a warm place. Plumminess, berries, red berries and more of the blackberries coming through here. The licorice, uh, maybe a little too much of the licorice, I don't know, uh, uh, alcohol wise it's 14% compared with 13.5% on the previous one. 
Um, but it just feels like a, um, a yes, it, it, and it, it doesn't have that earthy metallic note that I noticed in the first two. Uh, and feels like a wine that um, it, 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 I'd be interested to notice with that with that, with that licorice richness there. Whether as the wine warms up, uh, they, these came out of a coolish cellar about an hour and a half ago, so they've had a chance to uh, uh, to warm up to to room temperature or coolish room temperature. Uh, but this one for me feels like the one that um, is going to benefit more from uh, uh, from being open for a few hours longer. So what time is it now? Uh, quarter to four. I will report back. Actually, I'll report back on all of them because uh, um, they've been they've been interesting, uh, and this one I think is is uh, potentially very interesting. Yeah, it's weird. It's like a uh, it's got that dusty, warm earthiness of um, that I associate with uh, things like Spanish wine, but that plummy caress um, of uh, now where would that plummy caress come from? Ah, hey. I don't know, I don't mind us. Caress me with your plums, as it were. Um, final one. Uh, we are in uh, Australia with this one, and this is at De Bortoli, uh, the winery, and it's their DB Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon 2010. And um, where are we? Southeastern Australia. It's funny, De Bortoli, um, once upon a time, it was famous for, its most famous wine was its, uh, uh, what used to be known as Sauterne. So I think the first vintage they did of that was 1982, something like that. Um, but um, if you t if you talk to uh, young wine drinkers in Australia now, uh, De Bortoli is very much associated with uh, uh, Pinot Noir and, uh, and Chardonnay from the Yarra Valley, and people find it a bit of a surprise to uh, to discover that uh, they didn't actually start there. They they started uh, up in um, oh golly, where is it? Uh, 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 <laughs> I know they grow other things there. What's it called? Griffith. That's the that's the that's the place. Anyway, not sure whether this is from Griffith or whether it's from other parts of um, uh, the Riverland. But uh, anyway, it doesn't say on the back. Just southeastern Australia. Let's give it a whirl. Minty. I mean, it's so minty. Uh, minty eucalyptus. Um, and uh, there is there is a gentle black currant and berries behind it. But uh, that minty character is almost just a bit too extreme for me at the moment. It's one of those flavours, if you like it, you'll love it. I find it, it, it dominates and it takes away from the pleasure of the wine. Um, it, it finishes a, a bit on the dry side um, and with that mintiness and minty eucalypt just going all the way through it. Um, okay, uh, but uh, I would be looking for a second glass of something else. Um, I think my favourite's been uh, the, the Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, well, they've, they've all got Cabernet Sauvignon there, but uh, this... Uh, uh, the, the the Luaria 2011, uh, and um, so I will report back on on uh, how that performs in a few hours' time. In the meantime, I will love you and leave you. <laughs>